and now Chanin Wong Kuson Kit, the Chief Executive Officer of Banpu, a mining and power company in Thailand, said after the exception of the Forbes Fabulous 50 Award that building a competent and ethnically diverse team and strengthening the core coal business to meet growing demand are strategies for sustaining Banpu's success. Now Thai News Agency reporter Akanit Wichentaran has more. For the sixth consecutive year, Forbes Asia selected the Forbes Fabulous 50, the best of Asia Pacific's biggest listed companies based on business performance, looking at their five-year record for revenue, operating earnings and return on capital. Coal mining company Banpo was the only Thai-listed company to be honored by Forbes this year, thanks to its immensely profitable investment in Australia, Indonesia and China. Chanin Wangkuson Kit, chief executive officer of Banpu, said the ability to adapt to the local culture was key to its success in business operations abroad. Banpu to that end would continue to build a competent and ethnically diverse team by hiring more international staffs as it prepares for the ASEAN Economic Community scheduled for 2015. We have been mixing our management team and staff by uh, by having like uh, Indonesian, Chinese, Thais, and certain ASEAN uh, uh, nationality, and Australian. So uh, I think in the next five years, we'll be having more mixture of people in the nationalities to be more international. Mr. Shanin said the business prospect for Banpu next year is positive, as the price of coal this year rose above 110 US dollars per ton. Not only did strong growth in recent years in Asia, particularly in China and India, drive the demand for coal, volatile weather conditions also tightened the supply and disrupted Banpu's coal production in Australia and Indonesia. Mr. Shanin said further that the demand for coal next year would also be contingent on the recovery of the U.S. and the European economies. However, as the level of the coal consumption in the U.S. did not weaken during the past subprime financial crisis, the global demand for coal, which is abundant and cheap, would likely remain robust. Meanwhile, Mr. Shanin said Banpu would for the moment hold back on large-scale expansion because it recently invested two billion Australian dollars in the acquisition of the Australian coal mining company Centennial. And that has been quite big for us in terms of uh, the size of the to total. So we think we should uh, wait for a while and try to, try to see what we can improve, what we can do best in the, our bottom line, our cash flow. For long-term strategy, Banpu would focus on its core businesses by strengthening its competitiveness in coal mining, coal production and trade. Akanit Wishyanjaroon, Thai News Agency for ASEAN TV. On the energy path, from the origin in Thailand, Banpu stands for great pride. With over 25 years of experience in the energy business, Banpu has steadily developed a strong expertise and a broad vision while being committed to sustainable growth. As one of the foremost energy leaders in Asia, Banpu operates coal and coal-based energy businesses in Thailand, Indonesia and China and continues in its pursuit of expansion across the entire region. Taking further steps into the future, Banpo, driven by Asian values and spirit, is dedicated to the security and sustainability of the energy industry, in tandem with social and environmental development. Banpo Public Company Limited, the Asian face of energy.